Hello everyone. We're going to continue on with our um, cellular respiration animation here. And uh, we just finished up glycolysis, which remember took place out in the cytoplasm of a cell. And because this cell did have oxygen present, the next phase of cellular respiration will be the citric acid cycle or the Krebs cycle. There's two names for it. So depending on what book you're using, um, those are the two names for this energy producing cycle. Um, what's happening now is the uh, pyruvate molecules have moved into the mitochondria. So that's where we'll pick up the um, activity. Okay, here we go. The next stage of cellular respiration involves the movement of pyruvate into the mitochondria, where it undergoes oxidation. Each pyruvate molecule is converted into a compound called acetyl-CoA. In the process of pyruvate oxidation, electrons are transferred to NAD, producing NADH, and a carbon is lost, forming carbon dioxide. The next stage is the citric acid cycle, also called the Krebs cycle. Here, acetyl-CoA will bind with a starting compound called oxaloacetate, and through a series of enzymatic redox reactions, all carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens in pyruvate ultimately end up as carbon dioxide and water. The pathway is called a cycle because oxaloacetate is the starting and ending compound of the pathway. For every glucose that enters glycolysis, the cycle completes twice, once for each molecule of pyruvate that entered the mitochondria. During pyruvate oxidation and the citric acid cycle, a net of 8 NADH, 2 FADH2, 2 ATP, and 6 CO2 are produced for each glucose molecule. In order to understand how the majority of the energy is produced by aerobic respiration, we need to follow the NADH and FADH2 molecules to the next stage. All right. Now, I'm not expecting you to know all of these chemical reactions that are going on in the uh, citric acid cycle. Basically, I want you to know that the pyruvate molecules um, bind and form acetyl-CoA and then through various chemical reactions in this cycle uh, we have energy carrying molecules that are produced which are FADH2 and NADH carbon dioxide is given off oxygen is given off and two ATPs are given off. Okay, so this reaction really does not provide a lot of ATPs, a lot of energy for the cell. So what's going to happen in our next mini lecture and our next anim animation, the continuation of this, we'll see what happens to these electrons that are carried by these electron carrying molecules over into the electron transport chain. Now, <clears throat> this um, Krebs cycle or citrus, citrus acid cycle, this occurred in the matrix, in the fluid area uh, of the mitochondria. All right, in the next um, phase of cellular respiration, we will be moving into the um, inner membrane of the mitochondria, and that's called the cristae. All right, so try to pay attention to uh, where these reactions occur and um, basically what, uh, you know, what amounts of energy are being produced. Okay, so hope you got a little bit out of that one, and 
Until next time, have a good day.